Hi, my name is Sky, and I would like to predict something. Uh, this is a new thing, which I would like to see other people try. And all it is is, you know, just predict what you think will happen, and especially predict the future. You know, I like to predict uh, certain things, aspects, like what you think will happen in society, and really try to explain why. You know, give your reasons for it. So this is my, you know, not so much a challenge, but it's like an invitation to everybody else out there. You know, just create something title it my prediction and then you know colon whatever you predict and even give a little brief description and then you know go for it just show the video and i think that like you know if youtube can preserve itself and all of its videos for the next hundred or you know two hundred years people can look back and you know look at what was what people predicted what people thought you know and in particular like a social social scientists and historians you know they can use these videos as methods of predicting like well what were people thinking you know how did people perceive the future you know and what and when do they expect things to happen so my first prediction is it's a little odd or off ball by today's standards or like by, by today's reasonings but the thing is I see a lot of the precursors and I think that it can be a very near real possibility within in a time period of between like 10 to 20, maybe 30 years. 30 years at the out, at the very outside. And that is that um, we're going to see just a major revolution in the way of communicating. Um, there's a couple other aspects to it, and so they're a little complicated, but what I think and feel is that um, maybe with popular support, the Internet will become basically everywhere. And I mean more than just, you know, you can access it from anywhere. I mean that there'll be like basically a Wi-Fi signal blanketing the countryside. And because of that, everybody has access to the Internet. Everybody is, you know, connected, you could say. And the way you can get connected is through whatever personal personal device you buy. So you can have like simple little uh, communicators to elaborate, you know, uh, laptops and the like. And I think that uh, what will happen is that you know, we're seeing right now the we just had the you know introduction of the iPhone, which you know about six months time will be available to the public, and it's basically a confluence of a couple different items and ideas. And one is access to the internet from a mobile device, a cell phone, and a music slash media player, portable device. And you know that was basically Steve Jobs over at Apple's idea. Um, you know, just which was just a very logical step. You know, it's it's in that in my opinion, that's why a lot of people, you know, they weren't too awed by it all. I mean, they they but they expected it because it's just the next logical step. But I'm of the opinion that what we're going to see happen, in you know, and like I said, in about a ten, maybe twenty year period, is this Wi-Fi signal will be blanketing the the country, and it'll be supported by the government because it's this idea that you know information will is readily available to be shared, that everybody has access to this information. Everybody can educate themselves and has, you know, the freedom to do that. Um, you know, this could even possibly lead to another amendment you know, to the Constitution, which would be very interesting. Um, we'll see the day that everybody has a personal communication device, you know, shaped like a phone, and maybe, you know, the iPhone will be the model. But it will be this thing that, you know, people can use for their various purposes and reasons. And part of that is, you know, communicating, you know, by talking to a person, watching a video, listening to a song. But at the same time, it'll essentially, you know, all that will be free. Or you'll be able to do it for free. And the reason why is because, you know, there may be paying for downloads, but of course it will be pirating. But the, the devices will be so personable and there will be certain sites that you can pay or, you know, access, and, that, you know, that way you can access content. And so, in some ways, we may even see the dis disappearing, disappearance of the uh, television, the home television as a result, or, or the home television as we know it, in that, you know, you basically bring a, you know, a screen home, plug the cable into the wall, and then, you know, you have access to TV channels. Uh, I think what will happen is that you will we'll no longer need that you know that cable plug into the wall. Uh, you can just simply plug the power supply in, and bam, the computer inside of the TV 
connects to the internet and you decide and program right there, you know, what the per what the you know, that T V monitor will display for you. And at the same time you can access any sort of, you know, public entertainment or even private entertainment uh, medium uh, through your even little you know, handheld device or through on your computer. And you can call anybody. In fact, that may be the thing is that phone companies may no longer be able to, or they may get bought out. And I'm thinking of this idea that what you will see is people who can communicate with each other through cell phones, but using the Internet as the medium. And it would be literally be like you're talking to the phone, it records what you said, packages it as a little audio email, sends it through the Internet to the receiver, unpacks it, and they hear it. So you can have pretty much an instantaneous conversation like that. Um, and as a result, you know, I mean, there might be like a little pause at first, but I think it would probably get streamlined to the point where like you could do that. You could have, you know, basically a live, you know, uh, little discussion going on. And then, you know, with a little camera installed in the machine as well, so you can talk to it like this, and then you know, if you want, you can pull away and look into it. And then when you look into it, it videotapes you, but then you can see if the, your partner, the person you're talking to, has a like, you know, a similar machine, you can see their video image, you know, their face as they're talking into it. And I think that could even, you know, extend to the point where you could be sitting there watching a video and s still in this phone conversation with the person. It would be this weird idea that literally you could experience social contact with somebody hundreds of thousands of miles away. Um, which would kind of be interesting to you know, help recluses, people, or hermits, people would have trouble, you know, associating with people, but I think it would just be this very interesting aspect. But it's what I'm predicting. I, I am thinking that we will get to that point. Um, and then furthering that idea, what will end up happening is, because everybody will have these little personal communication devices, and we'll, more, we'll pretty much want to carry them around everywhere, because, I mean, look at people now, everybody wants to carry their cell phone, because it's just so handy, and and effective and useful, you can essentially track everybody through that. And why not? You know, it, it can be a passive tracking in that, you know, it, it's just, we know, you know, the machine knows where you are at all times because that, you know, maintains connection with you. Uh, and, well, by the way, phone numbers would disappear. You know, it may get to the point where the government would just, you know, your phone number is now your social security number. You know, because you're born, you now have a, basically a tag, a number, numerical tag, which will represent you and can be used by you as the means, you know, it, it, it'll be both the social security number and your name, but it's basically the way you can be contacted anyway. Um, so that way identity theft would probably be a lot harder because, you know, oh, I'm so-and-so. Well, where are you calling from? Uh, you know, well, I'm calling from this. Well, it's, I'm showing two locations for you. So, you know, somebody's lying, perhaps. Um, but you understand what I'm saying is that you could communicate and be able to track people. And if somebody got lost, or if somebody was kidnapped, or if something happened, or if there was a robbery, you could track people. You know, track people. Or some crime committed, you could track people in. You know, it's like, well, they went to this location here and there, and, and then it stopped, it disappeared, or you know, that's where the, the device dropped. Um, now, this might lead to fears of... Um, you know, the government tagging individuals. And I think that's a valid fear, but at the same time, well, it would be the government who's do, using this information, hopefully. I mean, there would probably be hackers, but, you know, the government, if you put enough pressure on the government and say, hey, we need to, you know, have security for this, you know, it's better, it'd be done. It'd be achieved. Um, I just think that it would be very interesting, and that I think it's a very real possibility now, and it's something that we could see happen, you know. So, free internet to everybody is just a matter of what sort of device you want to access the internet. And then everything, all sorts of information, is available to you through that medium. So, be interesting. That's my prediction for the future.